From captured sailors turning into pirates to powerful wives taking over crews. Stay tuned to number one to find out who was the most notorious pirate in history. Number 10. Bartholomew Roberts Infamously known to the world as Black Bart, and known to his crew as Pistol Proof, Roberts was forced into piracy after the ship he was on was captured by the pirate Howell Davis. Shortly after his ship's capture, Davis and his men took a liking to Roberts' charisma, despite having been captured by the pirates, and they also took note of his incredible navigational skill. Just three weeks after Roberts joined the crew, Hal Davis was fatally injured and the crew elected Roberts to take his place as the captain of the ship. Roberts' reign only lasted four years, but it was believed that in that time he had plundered around 400 ships before eventually dying in combat against British sea captain Shaloner Ogle. News of Roberts' death was so surprising, giving his record of ships that he had beaten, that even the Royal Navy was shocked to hear of his defeat. Number 9. William Kidd Back in the 1690s, Scottish waters were ruled by one pirate and his crew, a pirate that had never actually intended to be a pirate in the first place. William Kidd started out as a leading citizen of New York City and was even actively involved in the forming of the Trinity Church. He was originally a privateer and had been commissioned to assist in ridding the Scottish seas of pirates. After some time at sea, however, his own crew began talking about crossing over to piracy themselves, and even elected for Captain Kidd to continue to lead them onto the other side of the law. Reluctantly, Captain Kidd accepted the role and embraced his new life of piracy. Despite his reluctance, Captain Kidd built an impressive name for himself and was largely feared throughout the Mediterranean. Unfortunately, though, Captain Kidd was later captured in Boston and was taken back to England to stand trial. He was found guilty for his crimes of piracy and sentenced to death. After three attempts to hang him, they eventually got it right and ended his legacy. Number 8. Edward Teach Most of us have heard of the legendary pirate known only to most as Blackbeard. Edward Teach is the man behind the name and his exploits show us exactly how he gained such notoriety. But before we talk about his exploits, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel using the buttons below. Don't forget to click the little notification bell, as that will always notify you when we post new videos. Blackbeard was not the most successful pirate of all time, but was still in command of four ships and an army of around 300 pirates. In battle, he was ruthless and is best known to have rushed into the fight wielding two swords while also having an assortment of pistols and knives on him at the ready. During his career, he captured over 40 merchant ships and even defeated the famous warship HMS Scarborough. While he had many unofficial wives, it's believed that he was officially married to a 16-year-old girl and then when she tried to reform him from his pirate ways, he gave her to his crew as a gift. Eventually, though, the cruel and feared captain was caught and beheaded by the Royal Navy, and his severed head was put on the banks of the Hampton River to serve as a warning to other pirates. Number 7. Henry Every Known for a time as the world's wealthiest pirate, Every began his seabound career serving as a deckhand on various ships before joining what was known as the Spanish Expedition Shipping in the 1690s. Every arranged a mutiny against the then captain and eventually took his place at the helm of the ship. One of Every's greatest feats was when he came across India's own fleet of ships carrying much of its gold. Every's fleet of ships pursued the Indian fleet and managed to board two of their ships. It is believed that between the two ships he plundered, he found around 600,000 pounds of gold and paid the pirates under his command a thousand pounds of gold each, which at the time was equivalent to 80 years worth of work at sea. Captain Every is one of the few pirates to have ever retired and little is known of him after his retirement. Some believe that he died shortly afterwards as a poor sailor, while others maintain that he lived a long life despite the bounty that remained on his head. Number 6. The Barbosa Brothers As far as teamwork goes, the Barbosa Brothers are right up there. Named Aruj and Hazir, the brothers earned their notoriety by capturing European ships in the Mediterranean Sea and plundering any gold or merchandise they might have been carrying. 
They also regularly targeted the Spanish and were so successful in these raids that they became extremely rich and infamous. By 1516, the Ottomans had taken note of them and decided to put Aruj in charge of the entire Barbary coast. This was despite him having only one arm, having lost the other one in battle. Just two years later, however, Aruj passed away, and Hazir was right there to continue where his brother had left off, fighting Christian enemies that included a Holy League, which was a group of soldiers formed by the Pope with the specific purpose of destroying the Barbosas. By the time he died, Hazir had been made the Sultan of Algiers and had taken control of a large portion of northern Africa and helped in solidifying the Ottoman rule over the Mediterranean. Number 5. Anne Bonny Anne was an Irish woman that fell in love with a poor American sailor named James Bonny while visiting the New World with her family. She unfortunately grew disappointed with his simple life and lack of valor and left him to pursue her life at sea. She met the infamous pirate Calico Jack and became his lover. The two of them, along with a third woman named Mary Reed, stole a ship while it was stationed at a harbor and joined Jack's crew by posing as a man. She dressed, drank, and even fought under Calico Jack's command and was known for her brutality in battle, gaining infamy despite never captaining a ship herself. She and Mary were captured, however, and sentenced to execution, but they escaped the sentence by claiming that they were both pregnant. Mary passed away in prison before being released, but Anne was eventually released and, although not much is known about her after that, some believe that she returned home to her husband, suddenly quite content with his simple life. Number 4. Francois Lolonais Francois started out in life simple enough he was a servant in an American plantation and spent years there before joining the Buccaneers and proving himself in their ranks by robbing and killing any that he was instructed to. He was then given a small ship and began to grow his own name as a ruthless and merciless pirate, known for torturing people and killing without the batting of an eye. He specialized in land attacks and his most successful raid was on the town of Maracaibo in Venezuela, where he stole around 200,000 Spanish dollars and murdered all that stood in his way. He is said to have eaten a Spanish soldier's heart during one of his attacks just to show the enemy what he was capable of. The cause of his demise seems almost fitting when you consider how he lived his life though. His ship became stranded on a sandbar and they were unable to break free from it. In an attempt to get help, they left the boat and ventured onto the small island where it is believed that they were eaten by a local tribe. Number 3. Sir Henry Morgan Even if you're not particularly familiar with pirates, you may recognize this captain's name, or at the very least, the drink named after him. Early in his career, Captain Morgan was a privateer and was made the head of Jamaica's fleet of ships by the English government. He took full advantage of his privilege and plundered around 400 ships with his Jamaican fleet, some of which he kept for himself and some of which he shared with the English. He crossed the line, however, when he used his fleet of 30 ships and 1,200 men to take control of Panama City. This act got him arrested and taken back to England to await trial. Luckily for him, though, war broke out between England and Spain and King Charles II not only released Morgan to control the Jamaican fleet, but also knighted him and made him the deputy governor of Jamaica. After the war, Captain Morgan retired and never went to sea again, living out his remaining days on his farms in Jamaica. Number 2. Cheong Potsai Born to simple beginnings, Cheung was a fisherman's son who was captured by pirates early in his life and was kept as a servant. They eventually adopted their stolen child, however, and later in life, Cheung became a pirate himself. At his most prominent time, it is believed that he commanded over 50,000 men and a fleet of a few hundred ships, far above the Caribbean standards. He was known for attacking the Guangdong coastline and plundered massive amounts of treasure, all of which he hid in a cave on the coastline. A cave that is still today named after him. Eventually, the Chinese government caught him, but he made a deal with them and he enlisted as a captain in the Qing Imperial Navy. After being a pirate himself for years, he then spent the rest of his career assisting the Chinese government in capturing the very pirates he had worked alongside. Number 1. Ching Shi Ching Shi is quite unique, even among pirates. 
and is quite possibly the greatest pirate of all time. First of all, not only was this pirate a woman, but she was also a former prostitute who fell in love with a pirate and joined him in his pillaging. When he passed away though, she took over as his fleet's captain. She thrived in the role, and at the height of her reign, she had more than 1,500 ships and upward of 80,000 men under her control. She was known to sail the coastline of the South China Sea and became infamous throughout China because of her acts. She then married her adopted son who was, wait for it, Xiong Po Tsai, the very same one from the last entry, and handed a portion of her fleet down to him to control, a portion that was still bigger than anything that had ever been seen in the Caribbean. When the Chinese government offered Qing Shi amnesty in exchange for peace, she accepted, and she and her husband spent the remainder of their lives running a casino. Who do you think is the most notorious pirate? Let us know in the comments below and take care.